Hey guys, it's Jacqueline from Jamin195 and long time no see, but today I have a video to show you the Cyanogen mod 4.2.2 on the Samsung Galaxy S2 from Sprint. I'm going to show you all the features and how cool it is, and yeah, so let's just get right on into it. Alright, so before we go into all the features, I just want to show you the actual software to show you that this is actually 4.2.2. So I'm going to settings, about phone, scrolling down. And you can see right there it says Android version 4.2.2. And let me just scroll to another part. You can see that part says Cyanogen Mod Unofficial 10.1. So if I just click this Android version, you can see here's Jelly Bean. And then it is um, a flash ROM of 4.2.2. So let's just first start with the lock screen. So here you have your time and you can edit this so it's bold, unbolded, or unbolded, bold, which is pretty cool. Right under it you have your weather and that's based on your GPS. And it'll tell you in Fahrenheit or Celsius, depends on what you want. And notice how if I scroll to the right, you will go to the camera. And if you scroll to the left, you can edit this. And you can see you can add another widget, you click plus. And then since I have a password, it'll tell me to do that. And then you could go to all these other options on what else you want on your lock screen. So if you drag from the top, again, you have your, you're going to have your email and whatnot. And you click this, that top right button, it's going to take you to your icons here. So all your options. So instead of having that little row of columns and you can swipe through them, it's going to have these big icons to show you what you can do. And Bluetooth and all this cool stuff. Um, another thing I noticed, I think it's only in CyanogenMods, mods, is that you can have a Wi-Fi hotspot settings. You go to more from the wireless networks and you can click tethering and portable hotspot. And you can just, hold on, let me see if I, okay, nope, and you just click portable Wi-Fi hotspot and it works. And you won't be charged, this is built in. So another update from this is going to be the camera. You can notice the icon already looks different. So you click camera. So this is the camera. See, there's the door. So here you can see you have your camera and you have your panoramic video and regular camera. Um, here that's just you take the picture. Here it'll show you all your options, which is the cool part. Um, here you have your flash, HDR. You can flip your camera. You have a timer. You have the um, plus minus, which is like to let light in or light out. And hold on. Um, you have settings of the actual camera, and you have auto white balance, or like white balance. <clears throat> so something cool I noticed about HDR is it's this really cool feature where it takes a bunch of photos and makes it look really artsy. And here, let me show you. If you swipe from this, it's going to go to your photo. Alright, so this is the photo I took. And you can see like, there's like S3, and then it like, it's pretty cool. When you click a spot to focus on, so let's say we have this battery, all right? And then you click it, it'll like, it has this cool image. So here, I'll show you. It's pretty cool. You take it, swipes to the side. Um, something that is already installed into the ROM is something called Apollo, and that's the music app they used, or they use. And it just says all your music here, but I like to use Google Play or Google Music so I can sync it with my iTunes. And other than that, they have a DSP manager, they have file manager, they have Google settings. They have this weird thing that was pretty odd to me called Goo Manager. And then usually when you reboot your phone, it's going to show you or it's going to tell you in your notification bar that you have an update to your ROM. So they have that. So that's pretty interesting to take note of that. Um, other things they have are the standard news and weather. They have um, a sound recorder. Actually, I didn't know that because I had to download an app before. Um, they have a terminal emulator. They have Google Talk. I never use it, but that's installed. Voice dialer, voice search. And overall, it's a really, I think it's a pretty solid upgrade if you're looking into rooting your phone. So this is the 4.2.2 Cyanogen Mod 10.1 for Jelly Bean. And if you're interested in knowing how to do it just leave a comment saying oh i want to see how it works um just leave a comment thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a great day